Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and thank you so much for being patient with me. I am sorry that these have gotten out late, but honestly, seriously, it's just the luck of the draw. Um, it's kind of what my spirit or what spirit just said, but you know, just kind of rolling with the punches, getting through it. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? But if you're returning, you know it's been a pretty crazy three months for me <laughs> since June because I moved to Puerto Rico. And it's been a big adjustment. Like, it wouldn't be. Like, it shouldn't be. But, like, anyway, whatever. All right. So, thank you guys for tuning in. So, let's get into this. I have your pre-shuffle here. Um, so the first card that came out for you for, no, well, actually Virgo, the first thing that I heard was March, um, while I was starting to channel for you for the month of September, uh, I feel like something happened in the month of March of 2020. This could maybe even, even, even have been something that kicked off in the month of March in 2019. However, I do feel like whatever is coming through right now for you, Virgo, um, the something happened in March that what I want to say, what Spirit just said, is ultimately set the record straight, okay? Um, you have the Ten of Cups that's come out first, and it came out in reverse, all right? And then you have that with the Page of Wands, but then at the bottom of the deck, ultimately, you do have a victory, all right? So what this Ten of Cups is saying to me right now, the same, this Ten of Cups is talking about dissatisfaction, or coming to the realization of, or coming to terms with the fact that something in your life was ultimately not providing you with the happiness, the success, or maybe even the fulfillment. Well, I want to say the fulfillment and then maybe even the success that you wanted, that you hoped for, that you were looking for, which caused you then to re-identify yourself, maybe re-identify the terms of your life, the term by the terms by which you live your life, page of wands. And ultimately, Virgo, that's bringing you a victory, six of wands. And I really do feel like at this point, regardless of what this circumstance is, you can hold your head high here with the understanding or the realization that you have made the right choice or if you've re-identified yourself or like I said before, um, you know, renegotiated or re-identified or redefined the terms of your life, how you want to live it, how, how you want to see yourself, or what you want to experience in your life. Ultimately, whatever you're doing within those lines, within that realm, is bringing you success. It might be hard-won success. And quite frankly, Virgo, even with that Six of Wands, I don't feel like you're all too happy about this. Um, maybe you found a sense, some sort of sense of peace in, you know, in all of this at this point, but there's still some underlying sorrow that I'm feeling in this situation. All right. So anyway, with all of that said, let's get into this. Oops, let's get into this and see what we have for you for the rest of the month of September. I hope you guys um, can hear me well enough. I'm in the process of <laughs> putting my space together. Um, it's coming along, but I, I, I need to get a microphone, a better microphone, better than the one that I had back in when I was in Brooklyn, if you remember. I'm not trying to use that one anymore. And I have other microphones. I just gotta, I need a stand. Anyway, it's a work in progress. I hope, I hope you guys can hear me well enough. All right? Let's get into this. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, five shuffles, yeah? And a very happy birthday to you guys. Yes, happy birthday to all my Virgos out there. One. Whether you follow tropical astrology or sidereal astrology, whenever your birthday is, happy birthday, Virgo. <laughs> Two. Ooh. Nine of Wands just came shooting out, Virgo. We're going to keep that. This is two. Uh, this is three. I will say this Nine of Wands energy is giving me a sense of resilience for you. There's a mosquito flying around me. Ugh. This is four. <laughs> for my Virgos. Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yes. This is five. 
Wait. What? Is this five? Fuck. You guys, you know I always lose count. Whatever, this is five. For the month of September 2020. So, hold on. Let me not get ahead of myself here. <laughs> Boop. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> Overall energy... Other than the fact that we have this Nine of Wands here, let's talk about this for a second. This Nine of Wands, as you saw, came shooting out while I was doing your shuffle. And to be honest, Virgo, this this Nine of Wands is representing resilience for you in many cases. It, in some cases, I do feel like there's a tiny bit of energy of being overwhelmed or feeling overwhelmed or feeling overworked or maybe even at this point overexerting yourself. Um... I kind of feel like with whatever this transition has been for you, whatever has changed for you, whatever you have re-identified for yourself, you've been working hard at it ever since. And I think it's time to kind of give yourself a break. Because I feel like some of you are working too hard at this point. At the bottom of the deck so far, you have the Ace of Swords, the very first card of your overall energy here. And for those of you that are new to the channel, um, what I'm doing right now is my freestyle spread, and you're actually able to see it at this point. So if you want a freestyle spread, go ahead and email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com, and I'll get you set up, yes? Okay, so first, Virgo, you have the Ace of Swords. Underneath that, you do have the Empress. And then finally, well, not finally, but underneath the Empress, you have the Knight of Cups. And then also, finally, you have the Six of Pentacles. All right. So uh, what I feel like this is right now for you, Virgo, is you sort you moving forward with some sort of sense of an open heart, some sort of sense of wish fulfillment in a way. I don't think this wish fulfillment is actually happening right now, although in many cases it probably already has and you may not see it yet. Or you may be very aware of this wish fulfillment with that Ace of Swords. But ultimately, the Knight of Cups to me is speaking towards you moving forward with your heart's desire. You moving forward with what your heart is, is telling you. Kind of almost, I, I do like to say that the Knight of Cups can be an energy of like living with your heart on your sleeve. Okay. Um, but yes, there is some sort of knowledge, some sort of understanding, maybe even some sort of secret wisdom that you've become privy to. And that is connected to the divine feminine. Maybe this is you as the queen of, uh, I'm sorry, as the, I wanted to, I literally just wanted to say the queen of pentacles, uh, but this is the empress and the empress is the queen of all queens. Let's see if the queen of pentacles comes out for you, but it makes sense if the queen of pentacles energy does come out or is a part of this reading already because the queen of pentacles can represent knowing your worth and not allowing anything or anyone to deter you from what you're worthy of. But the Empress here for you, Virgo, is really representing the abundance of the universe. There's some sort of wisdom, Ace of Swords. There's some sort of wisdom, truth, understanding, or enlightenment that you've come into that is allowing you to uh, be attached, not be attached, be connected with the abundance of the universe represented by the Empress and to move forward with your heart's desire, okay? But don't forget, you do still have this Nine of Wands energy here. So maybe we can talk about that later. But let's get into the rest of the reading and see what else we have for you. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, you have the Four of Pentacles. However, the Four of Pentacles here is, to me, is saying that you're letting, you've released something. You're, you've let something go. I don't think you're holding on to this anymore. For those of you that may be holding on to something still, that's where this Nine of Wands energy comes in. Because I feel like there's, you're, again, Spirit is saying you're overexerting yourself, all right? So you really just like to, like, rest be cool, uh, keep calm, uh, you know what I mean? Just like, relax a little, relax a little, all right? Four of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Magician. But then we get back to how the Four of Pentacles here is representing some sort of release. Because of the fact that you released something, Virgo, you are now able to be more in alignment with what it is you truly want, but also you have more of the energetic space, maybe even more of the energetic, uh, maybe even more of the energy necessary to manifest. Ultimately, what I feel like this is for you, Virgo, is you letting go of something that uh, I just heard. I did just hear a long-standing relationship, potentially. Um, so for some of you, that's what it is. Or you're just letting go of some sort of situation or circumstance that is allowing you to step into this manifestation, this magician mode, so that you really can get what your heart desires. Knight of Cups, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. We have the Two of Pentacles. Right now, Virgo, what you need to focus on doing is maintaining your physical balance. 
physical, mental, emotional, uh, uh, energetic balance. I, I, with this two of pentacles here, I feel like that's really what you're focused on. And maybe that's what you had to work so hard towards, or maybe that's what you feel like you have to work so hard towards. But quite frankly, Virgo, with this nine of wands here, I don't think the situation is as dire as you might think it is, or you might perceive it to be right now. Again, with this nine of wands energy spirit is kind of saying for most of you that you're overexerting yourself and you have got to let yourself have a break, okay? Two of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, wait, before I go any further, this Two of Pentacles is really saying like, it's, it's, it's like you're doing just about everything you can to maintain the balance for yourself and not even the balance just for yourself, but the balance for other people too. And quite frankly, Virgo, that's not necessary. I mean, obviously, if you have children or if you have in, uh, family members or colleagues or co-workers that you're managing or that you're responsible for, okay, fine. But in, some, but in these cases, I feel like what Spirit just said is, in these cases, these people are going way above and beyond. It's like you're working way above your pay grade right now, and you, it's really not necessary for you to do that, okay? Two of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, I actually just want to say, wanted to say Two of Pentacles in reverse, but Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Wands. You know, Virgo, what this Queen of Wands is saying, especially in terms of this Two of Pentacles, this Queen of Wands is saying, like, girl or bro, I mean, you're in alignment. As long as you stay in alignment, everything will be taken care of. You don't, it's not necessary to overexert yourself here, okay? All right, your challenge for the first half of your reading. Ah, there you go, Virgo. There's the Five of Pentacles, okay? This is you feeling left out in the cold. It could very well be that the situation or the circumstance that you have or are cutting yourself away, cutting, cutting yourself out of, Ace of Swords, was rooted in or put what depicted you as or, or caused you to see yourself as lack of, lack, lacking, not, not, not being good enough, not having enough, blah, blah, blah. You could also be feeling that right now, which could, which could be what is making some of you not fully see the victory or not fully understand or comprehend or perceive of the victory that you actually have right in front of your face. Some of you are still dealing with these feelings of inadequacy. And it also could be these feelings of inadequacy, five of pentacles, that is keeping you or allowing you to be in this nine of wands energy, which is you overexerting yourself. You feeling like you're not good enough or you don't have enough or you don't know enough yet or blah, 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 blah boop, boop, whoop, dee, whoop, and all that bullshit, right? And that's keeping you grinding and grinding and going. And, 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 and look, Virgo, you don't have to do that. Case in point, I just moved to Puerto Rico. I don't know Spanish yeah, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, when I moved here three months ago, I didn't know, I, I, I'm not fluent in Spanish. I cannot have a normal conversation with someone here that doesn't speak English. And that's okay. I mean, I'm in the process of learning, right? I'm do, I am, I am very serious about learning Spanish because I've moved to Puerto Rico and I want to be able to communicate with people that live here, people that grew up here. You know what I mean? For me, Lately, I've been in an energy of I, I feel terrible and I, I have to keep working. I have like I've been stressing myself out just to learn the language so that I can better communicate with the people that live here. But I can only go do so much at once. And I've learned that in the moments where I really find myself struggling to comprehend or struggling to do something, what I need to do is just stop and move away from it for a second and allow everything that I have already acquired to settle in. And then by the time I'm able to get back to it, all of a sudden it's like second nature. All that stuff that I had been working on learning has now integrated, has now settled in. And I, it's, it's like, it comes easily. So that's kind of what I feel like some of you need to be understanding about your situations right now, okay? Don't let this sense of inadequacy tear you down or make you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not good enough or you'll never get there, okay? Five of Pentacles is coupled with mm, the King of Cups, Virgo. Here is your challenge to see things differently, to be emotionally mature, stable, sturdy, and grounded enough 
to look at what's going on around you and say, you know what, I'm not as bad as a person as I think I am, or I'm not as ill-equipped as I think I am, or I'm not as bad of a person as other people may be trying to make me out as, or what other people's opinions may have to say about it, right? The King of Cups is that emotional maturity that can weather any storm and not get pushed off of his podium, pushed off of his throne. That's your challenge right now, Virgo. To develop that sense of emotional maturity for yourself to understand that you are good enough. You are not inadequate. And that's actually going to help you stay in your alignment here, Queen of Wands. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo. The High Priestess. And what Spirit just said with the High Priestess is use your intuition wisely. Okay? Don't allow the unknown to sway you. Because I do feel like with this high priestess here, you are definitely going in the right direction. You may not know exactly how things are going to work out. You may not know where you're going to end up. You may not know what's coming next. But ultimately, if you continue to follow your intuition in a wise manner, you will be okay. You will be exactly where you need to be at all times. You have to trust in the unknown, okay? High priestess is coupled with the nine of pentacles. You are independent, you are grounded, you are firm, you are solid, stable, and secure. So you really can rely on the universe. At this point, Virgo, in whatever it is you're going through, in whatever journey it is you find yourself in, or wherever you find yourself on your journey, what this is saying here is, between the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles, you have the sturdy, stable, grounded fortune and or nature to, in order to allow you to trust in the universe and just go with the flow. You are stable. You are self-sufficient. So don't worry about it. Just allow the universe to guide you here. Okay? All right, Virgo. So uh, now I'm going to get into your part two, which can be found over on Patreon. If you are not on Patreon, I highly recommend that you check me out there. There's a lot of good stuff that's already there and a lot of good stuff that's going to continue to be there. Uh, Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. If not, I... Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Bye.